So session three of Who on Earth Was Jesus? And the third story that John tells is the story of a man named Nicodemus. Now Nicodemus went to visit Jesus, but he went secretly at night. Nicodemus was a Pharisee, which meant he was well trained in the scriptures, and he was someone who had dedicated his life to obeying God's laws. We're also told that he was a member of the Jewish ruling council, and so he was obviously someone who had people's respect. But Nicodemus was a little bit different from the rest of them. He could see that Jesus was different and he really wanted to know. He says, Rabbi, we know that you're a teacher who has come from God, for no one could perform the signs you were doing if God were not with him. Now we know that he thought differently from his colleagues because he went to visit Jesus and find out. He could see something different and he wanted to know what it was and probably can I have it? And this of course gave Jesus the opportunity to explain to him about the Holy Spirit. And he said to Nicodemus, look, if you really want to see and understand the things of God, you need the Holy Spirit within you. And he puts it in terms of you need to be born again. You need to be born of the Spirit. We're all born physically, but we need also to have that spiritual birth. Now John elaborates further on this later in the book when Jesus is talking to his disciples. And he promises, I will send you another advocate, the Spirit of Truth. And he says that this Holy Spirit will teach them all things and remind them of everything that he has said to them. This is a clear statement in John emphasizing that if we really want to understand the things of God, we can only do so if the Holy Spirit shows us the truth. Paul picks this up in 1 Corinthians chapter 3. The person without the Spirit does not accept the things that come from the Spirit of God, but considers them foolishness and cannot understand them because they are discerned only through the Spirit. And this is what Jesus is explaining to Nicodemus. All his learning was great, but he couldn't have full understanding purely by human learning. The Pharisees who took great pride in their learning and in their dedication to God's law could never accept who Jesus was because they didn't open themselves up to the Holy Spirit. But Nicodemus was open and he was seeking. That's why he went to Jesus. Now certainly he wasn't the only Pharisee who was open. We see other places where some of them saw the good in Jesus. But the ones who were proud of their learning and their position were the hardliners who were in opposition against him. And the truth is still there today. We cannot understand God by means of human intellect alone. God wants us to use our brains and our logic, but we have to be given life by his spirit. Otherwise, we'll come up with all sorts of odd things if we just leave it to our own understanding. The promise that Jesus gave his followers that he would send them another advocate, the Holy Spirit, is still the promise there for us today. So if we say yes to having Jesus as the one in charge of our lives, we will receive his spirit. Of course, the extent to which the spirit works in our lives is the extent to which we open ourselves up to him and allow him to work. Thank you.